Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover some news that got released in game today. So basically we're gonna start with the first one monthly five star select summon tickets. These are the tickets you're gonna be able to get this month. So basically uh, on uh, February 1st, so this Friday, <coughs> sorry, and basically February 15th. Uh, so this one right here, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the King Mog event that we're gonna get with maybe jet and Oron. so hopefully final fantasy 10 will be out this friday and you guys will be able to get a five star select summon ticket and something really really cool that's gonna happen with this and uh, we're gonna cover it a little bit later in the video so let's go over the next one ability awakening so basically on thursday after maintenance you guys will be able to awaken the uh, abilities of yuri varun yan miyuki chow cloud hang and El Frida. so if you guys have some of these units and you want to awaken their abilities go for it uh we're not gonna go over everything basically because they didn't uh data mine it completely so you don't have the full percentage on all the units but uh twin disciple spiritual core strong encouragement improved focus so if you guys want to go over them but on thursday i'm pretty sure uh the data mines will be done and you guys can use Xvius right here, Xvius Gamepedia, uh, basically to look at everything. So that's for these characters right here. But for me, since I don't have Ang and Chao, uh, Cloud the boy, the soldier, uh, he's going to be uh, awakened, that's for sure. And hopefully we can have a lot of space for him in the, the party since finishers right now are not the best units. Because uh, guys like Kyo, that chain finishes their own thing. Their own chain are actually really, really strong. Then on Thursday, again, after maintenance, you guys will be able to do the fight for uh, Alexander and make him a three-star Esper. So you guys, really easy. You go back to where you fought, uh, fought him the first and second time. There's going to be a third uh, fight that you're going to be able to do, which is 30 energy. You guys fight him, you guys beat him, and guess what? Bam! You have a three spar, uh, three spar, three star version of the Esper right there. Then in the Chamber of Arms, there's gonna be something new, a new boss, Sadal suit. Uh, apparently, it's said to be really, really hard. So we're gonna go over the equipment that we're gonna get right here as I'm going lower. So Champion of Equality, when you beat him the first time, so basically the first fight, uh, you get Genji armor, replica, basically attack 12, uh, defense 32. It's a heavy armor. No limit burst, you get a tent. No Esper, you get a Phoenix down. And defeat him within 30 turns, you get one Elixir. Uh, as we're going down, if uh, whenever you do the real fight, basically the hard version of the fight, you complete the quest, you get Genji armor, uh, attack 20, defense 45, which is really, really nice. Boot, boost death resistance by 50%. Nullify blind. Enables Genji Spirit, so basically Genji Spirit boost attack by 30% when equipped with a Katana or a Bow. So that thing could look pretty, pretty nice for the boy Aang, especially as he's getting stronger with his Awakened abilities. But it's a really, really nice armor that you can get for free in the game. Deal fire, water, wind, and earth damage to an enemy. You get two rare summon tickets. Defeat Sadal Sud parties within 30 turns. You get a 10% Moogle, which is always nice to get. And defeat the red, blue, green, and orange wings with a limit burst. Genji Tactics, basically it's a materia, boost attack and magic by 20% and boost LBH fill rate. Uh, I like this, basically because it's nice for your um, hybrid characters and the LBH fill rate is really, really nice. Uh, we just don't know the percentage on the LBH fill rate, but that's something that I would, uh, if you guys have those Veritas of the Light, uh, that could be really good since her, uh, her limited burst is really strong with a 74% break to defense and spirit, so I will gladly take that. If we can make it there. Then, really, really good, guys. The story continues. I'm not going to go down because sometimes you might spoil. I might spoil something for you guys if you're not there yet. But yes, the story continues. And guys, I got to say, the story in this game is amazing. So if you guys are not there yet, stop whatever you're doing. Just go play the story because it's amazing. Uh, seriously, Gumi, Square Enix, you guys did a... An amazing job with the story because it's just getting better and better that's for sure so this will be live this thursday so you guys can keep playing the story after maintenance then star ocean it's back we all know it basically the uh highly difficult quest is back now the one thing i'm not sure of if if we beat it already are uh are the things are gonna be uh 
back to zero so are we going to be able to get the rewards again i have no idea they didn't write anything about it so let's go over things lightning attacks are effective against him kupo fighting him for more than eight turns could prove dangerous kupo hit him with lightning attacks for a total of three turns to watch him recall kupo so the first time i did this fight to be honest guys it was really really easy uh i think i used uh, CG Sakura and I just hit him with lightning. I think I need to rewatch the video But uh, it was a really easy fight. So let's go over the mission rewards complete the quest You get a five star uh, five percent Mughal. Sorry deal lightning damage three times or more uh, You get 10,000 raid coins evoke an esper you get two rare summon tickets defeat gyrivores with a limit burst You get try emblem basically. It's an accessory defense three attack and magic 15% defense and spirit 10% Really, really nice. If you guys want, bring your heels with a lightning weapon and just crush him. Because trust me, this boss is really not that hard. They didn't do the hardest boss, that's for sure. Then the last thing, guys, we're going to talk over this, which is really, really good. And that's what I meant at the beginning of the video. So guaranteed five-star special summon ticket. Basically, in the JP version, whenever you're doing a, kick mo a King Mog event, uh, the more you play it, basically, you kind of get like reward coins at the end meaning that uh if you do the level i don't know once you get 100 coins if you do the level twice the hardest level difficulty so let's say level 40 you do it once you get 100 coins you do it twice you get another 100 coins uh basically what's gonna happen if it's the same way that uh, jp does it you're gonna have five rewards so basically i think it's 5000 10000 15000 20000 and 25000 when you make it to 15,000, they basically give you a, f a guaranteed free 5-star ticket, which is really, really cool. Uh, you're going to be able to summon any 5-star in the game, and this is for free. So basically, the more you play the event, the more it rewards you. Uh, obviously, if you're not doing the hardest difficulty, it's going to take you a little bit longer. But if you're able to do level 25, just keep on doing it. Even if you have everything, just keep on doing it, because those little coins uh, will, get, will work towards the reward. Of getting a five star summon ticket so guys free five star units i know i know you might get end up getting the same units over and over again but guys this is a gacha game things like that happen but it's free so whenever we get something free like that hey it's really really cool they didn't have to do it and they're doing it so basically this is amazing news guaranteed five star special summon uh, it happens every time there's a King Mog event in JP most of the time it happens I don't want to say every every time but in JP it happens and uh, it's a really cool way to reward you So the more you play the more rewards you get and uh, that's actually really really nice of them And uh, yeah, this is really really cool and hopefully guys this week uh, After maintenance they didn't say anything about it or maybe next week we will get all the things that they said at FanFesta where we actually get the unit slots then we're gonna get a slot just for Cactuars and pots and all these things so it's gonna make our inventory for units a lot easier to manage and seriously i can't wait for that other than guy other than that guys please hopefully this video was helpful maybe you learned a thing or two and uh we had some fun uh, i had some fun talking to you guys please leave a like down below subscribe for more and hit that little bell to get notified whenever i post a video on this note guys please have a wonderful day and stay safe peace